Hi, this is Cliff Rohde of Code Cloud Communications, and we're about to do a video tutorial on how to edit or resize or edit and resize an image using WordPress. Now, remember something here. It's always better to resize your images, to crop them, to do whatever it is you're going to do with an image before you upload the image to WordPress. Um, but this tutorial is assuming, well, we forgot to do it this time, so we're going to use WordPress to edit. So. Let's, uh, before we go any further or without any further delay, let's go. And what I'm going to do is share a screen here so that you can see um, how to do this. Okay, so I've got a basic screen here open in WordPress. You can see that it's a post uh, up here. It's all about roses, and we decide, oh, I want to add an image that I've got on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Add Media, and it's going to prompt me to find that image, and I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to select the file that I have on my desktop. Now, what I want to show you here is kind of important. Um, you can see here that I have already changed the name of this file to say exactly what the file is about. And this is a painting about roses done by Gerardina Jacoba van de Sande Bakuzin. Um, this was found at the Rijksmuseum, by the way, in the Netherlands. It's a great place to find free images that you can use on your website. And so it had a different name. I've re when I downloaded it, I have renamed it again. So the file name is exactly what this file is about because that's helpful for search engine purposes. I'm going to say open, and it's going to upload that file. And it's going to take a little bit of time because I want to warn you, this file is actually pretty darn big. It's about 4,500 or maybe exactly 4,500 by 4,500 pixels, which is way too big for a website. As a general recommendation, I would say you don't want an image. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not that big. Um, you don't want an image that's bigger than about you know like 800 pixels wide. You can see over here in this part of the uh, the screen, it shows us just how big the picture is: 2,700 by 3,600. Way too big. Now, again, for search engine purposes, what you would want to do is add in alt text here and a description of the image, but we're not going to do that right now. But let's say you're at this juncture, and you say to yourself, self, um, that image is way too big. i got to edit it. So what can you do? Well, you come right up here where it says Edit Image, and you click on Edit Image. And this is going to open up a screen um, where we can edit this image. Now, there are a couple of different things that we can do here that are pretty relevant. One is we can crop, um, and that's over here. We can also rotate the image if we want to. I don't want to do that here. You can flip it vertically or horizontally. Um, I want to crop because I want to focus in on a particular part of this image. So I hit the crop button, and then I come in here and I draw. I just want the flowers themselves. And then I'll go ahead and hit crop again. And it's going to crop that image to just the flowers. Check that out. Now, an issue here is that if you forget to do this, you're going to lose your what you've done. So you've got to make sure that you come down here and hit Save. So we're going to do that. We're going to save it. Now, what I think is going to happen is that going to tell us, if we look over here, look at this. The image is now smaller than it was because we cropped it. But you know what? Still way too big. 2,200 pixels wide? Forget it. So we've got to come back to Edit Image. We're going to click on that again, and we're going to say, I want to scale it. And that you do by going over here where it says Scale Image. You come down here. You really only need to set the width. I want to say 800 because sometimes, um, you know, a, a wide screen, a, an image of that size looks pretty good. It's a fairly decent size image, but we're going to go with it anyway. You will see that it, it changed the uh, vertical or the height pixels automatically. We're going to hit Scale, and that worked. And then we're going to hit Update, and watch what happens. It changed the dimensions of the file. So that's good, right? We hit Update, it's we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to sometimes I'll just hit Update one more time just to be sure, um, but there really is no doubt here. And you can see the file size has been reduced dramatically. It was probably in the megabytes before. I wasn't completely paying attention. Um, but now it's only 166 kilobyte, kilobytes, still a pretty good sized picture. We can close that down now. Now, when we're back where we were adding the image, um, it's still going to have the original size there, but it knows um, that that picture has been resized. And so 
we can go ahead at this point and say insert it um, into the image or if you're feeling like you're, you're not trusting it go ahead and exit out and let's go back now to the same post and we'll say alright let's add media after all and we don't want to do that one we want to do this one and we're gonna say insert into post and look it's what we did it was just that cropping and then we hit uh, update and that post has been updated with the picture if you don't believe me I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna hit um, view post it's been updated and let's take a look at what it looks like there you go it's just the flowers so that was a quick tutorial on how to edit an image we cropped it we resized it using WordPress again it is completely recommended that instead of doing this in WordPress because it's a little kludgy that you do it um, offline uh, in some kind of photo editing software. We use GIMP a lot, um, but there are others out there. So thanks a lot for listening. Um, this was Cliff Rohde of Goat Cloud Communications. If you found some value out of this, great. Leave us a message. Leave us a review. Follow us on uh, Google Plus or Twitter or Facebook. If you search for Goat Cloud, one word, you're going to find us. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.